Hi guys, welcome to my channel Ritika's World. I am Ritika. Like I said in my previous video, I'm going to be teaching you how to solve a 3x3 Rubik's Cube today. And if you didn't see that video, go ahead and see it, look at it, because it's going to be in this video's description box. So let's get started. For beginners, now I'm going to tell the Rubik's Cube anatomy. There are three main pieces in the Rubik's Cube anatomy. They are the corner piece, the middle piece, and the center piece. For the center piece, the center piece never moves. Whenever you spin, the rest of it moves, but not the center piece. And the corner pieces have three colors, and the middle pieces have two colors. So now let's start. There are two main algorithms to finish this Rubik's Cube, and they are right algorithm and left algorithm. I'm going to show you how to do the right algorithm right now. It is right up, clockwise, right down, and counterclockwise. And then the left algorithm is left up, counterclockwise, left down, and clockwise. So now let's make the daisy. First, we're going to be making a daisy. To make a daisy, we're going to put all the white middle pieces around the yellow center piece so it looks like a flower so let me do that right now and it should match their corresponding color homes too we're gonna find them and put them like this so this is what a daisy should look like it should have four middle white middle pieces around the yellow um, centerpiece so and they and they should match with their corresponding home colors too the second step is to make the white plus to make that you're gonna flip your full cube until you see the white middle piece and then you're going to flip these two times over like this, so you get your white plus. You're gonna repeat that on all sides. So now you have your white plus. Match them with their corresponding home colors like this, and you have it. The third step is to match the corners with the middle piece. And to do that, you're gonna find your corners and put it in its correct spot. So if you're somewhere like this, and it's red blue so if you're somewhere like this you're gonna find your red blue and you're gonna put it on top so it's matching but then if we put it we're gonna lose the blue piece so you're gonna put it down put it to one of the sides then put it down and then twist it so it's in the correct place and then twist it up so now you should have red red and blue blue so we're gonna do that like that. So if though if some it's if it's somewhere like this, my red green is all the way up here. What you're gonna do is spin this like this once, spin it away, and spin it up again. So now it's it went all the way right here. And then you're gonna find its correct place, put it on, it's working, put it down, put it away, put this one down. Put this to the side so these three match and then put it up now we have one more let's find it it's all the way down here so this is an easy one Did you see it's working because these three are matching put it down put it away put this thing down and then twist and up and now we have our corners in place and the orientations is right and we finished the first phase our fourth step is to solve the middle row. To do that, we're gonna flip our full cube over so the white face is on the bottom. And so we're gonna spin our top until one is matching with the one of the colors T we have. So it's like a big red T. And we're gonna see where the red blue is. The red blue is mostly on this side and the green is on this side so we're gonna spin it toward the green and then 
so it, I spun it toward the right. So I'm going to do the left algorithm. Left up, counterclockwise, left down, clockwise. And then you should have this facing you. And then you're going to spin it once to the left because I did the left algorithm. And then you're going to put it up, match it, put it down. So then you should have the blue red on this side. You're going to do the same with all of them. So orange, blue, orange, blue is on this side. You're going to spin it away from it. Now I do the right algorithm, right up, clockwise, right down, counterclockwise. So it's right here. And then I'm going to spin it to the right and then up, match, down. So we have this. And then green, orange. Let's find that. Where is it? Is it stuck? Oh, it's stuck right here. So we're just going to do the right algorithm because it's stuck on my right side. And put it down too at the same time. And so it's right here now. And then you're going to see where the green orange is. It's green, orange. Spin it the other way and do the algorithm that you're supposed to do. I am supposed to be doing the right algorithm because the green orange is on the left side. So now you should have it facing. Spin it right, just 90 degrees. Up, match, and down. So now we have this. And then green, red. Oh, it's stuck here. So we're going to do the same thing. And then match it. And now our green, red is out. Now we're going to match it with this. So the green, red is this side. And so we're going to move it to the blue side. And then I'm going to do the right algorithm now. So it's facing our side. Spin it to the right. Up and match. Down. So now you should finish the middle row like this. Our fifth step is to create the yellow cross. But before I want to show you, after you're done with the middle row, you should you might have something like this for the yellow cross. You might have like an L like this, or you might have a horizontal line like this. Or you might have a dot in the middle too. And if you have a L, you should put it in the top left corner if you while doing the algorithm and if you have like a line you should put you could put it however you want while doing this algorithm and now let's do the new algorithm so this new algorithm is first we're gonna spin this right here so we see what a white line and then you're gonna you're gonna do the right algorithm So then you should have a line. You're going to do it one more time. So you should have a plus. And now we're going to match it, the middle pieces with the plus. So we're going to find at least two matching. Okay, these two are matching. And if they are matching by side by side, you're going to put it in the top right corner and do this. So first, you're going to spin it up like this so you see the white line and two, at least two dots right here. And then clockwise, down, clockwise again, right up, and then spin it until these, this matches and put it down and match the middle pieces and you should have it. And our sixth step is to make are corners in the right place but the orientation might be wrong and to do that we're gonna first start off by doing it clockwise then um put the right up counterclockwise left up clockwise right down counterclockwise left down then you might have one matching. If you have one matching, you're going to put it in the right bottom corner and then do the same thing again. Clockwise up, right up, 
counterclockwise left up, clockwise right down, and counterclockwise left down. So you might have it like this, or you might have it differently. Another way you could have it after you did it two times is like this. The orientations won't be right, so let's do it one more time. And see if the orientations are, are the, it's placed in the right spots because the orientations won't be correct. Placed, placed, and later placed. Then for the last step, which is finish the cube, you're going to flip your whole cube upside down and do the right algorithm. And it could take you how many ever times, and but it's gonna be it's gonna be getting really messy. But until the orientation is correct and it's where it's supposed to be, do the right algorithm, and then spin the bottom. So let me do it. And it's in this place. So we're gonna then spin the bottom once, and then do the same thing. It's in its place. Now the last one. And then match it. And we're finished. Now you know how to solve this Rubik's Cube. And if you follow my process, you'll learn this Rubik's Cube in no time. And if you like this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe this video. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.